After all these years, I now finally own, or should I say re-own, the very first rock album I ever purchased. <laughs> So, the year was 1977 when a uh, silly, scrawny little 11 year old boy was over at a friend's house. And his friend, uh, she had a sister who listened to Kiss. And we went into her room because she had heard a song that her sister had let her hear on Kiss Alive 2. I don't have this on vinyl, so I'm showing you the CD. Um, and she pulled it out and said, you got to listen to this guy singing the song, Shock Me. And she was, of course, talking about Ace Frehley. And um, she just thought it was kind of quirky. His vocals were kind of kind of quirky. Shock me. Shock me. Oh, yeah. And so we sat and listened to pieces of this. And I don't know, I don't recall, you know, having any great... Um, stimulation like oh this is awesome or anything all i know is it was quirky and then i was uh talking to uh my brother my older brother his girlfriend or a girlfriend i guess they were girlfriend at some point um at the time was also a big fan of kiss and so he knew a little about him he told me a little about him um the, the, it's a little blurry there as far as, you know, did I have my own money? Did somebody give me the money? Did my brother pay for it? Did my parents give me money? I don't know. But I know that my brother and I went to the store, um, or we were taken to the store. Um, I would have been, he would have been like, what, 15? Maybe 16? I don't think he had to drive us to the store. And we went to the store, and I remember vividly coming home with this album, which I just got in the mail um, again, it was a uh, one of those Amazon price drops where it dropped below fifteen dollars, and so I grabbed it. Um, still trying to build up the uh, the Kiss vinyl. Um, used to have them all, of course, but anyway, yesterday got in Love Gun. So this is it. This is where it started for me. This is it. Nineteen seventy-seven. Now, these two albums came out at the same time, at same year. I did hear this one first, so it had been somewhere in later seventy-seven. But this was the first album I purchased with my own money prior to buying this as I've mentioned in other videos I mainly had a bunch of 45s little bunch of singles I carried around and they tended to be mostly disco type stuff um, the soundtrack from Saturday Night Fever uh, the Grease soundtrack things along that line uh, movies we had seen or songs we had heard uh, on the radio a lot of the Bee Gees and Andy Gibb was a big favorite of mine and uh, I had knock on wood I had songs like that so I played those all the time um, but never really got much into you know rock things and this is it this is where it started I purchased this I brought this home listened to it repeatedly repeatedly while I was in listening to it the first couple times uh, the first night uh, my brother took this album in the other room I remember this he took this into our dining room next room over and drew this picture he was a really good draw he was you know really good at doing drawings of other things and so did a really good uh, representation of this so he's drawing we're listening the radio is in the living room one of those big turntables with the TV in the middle and then you flip the side up and there's a record player and then on the other side you flip that up and there's a place for albums um, and you know growing up there wasn't a whole lot of music and I mean, my parents were not musical um, but my brothers my siblings were so I had two brothers my oldest brother seven years my senior um, I do remember in the other area over there in the where the albums were I remember seeing band I remember seeing Queen I remember seeing because but the, I just was kind of freaked out with the robot on the cover uh, Steely Dan I know in his bedroom he had posters of Alice Cooper so while there was a lot of that I honestly don't recall hearing any of that music in the house um, on the record player, uh, aside from my singles that maybe was occasionally played, I do remember having a box set, one of those KTEL type box sets with all the big hits from like the 50s, like she wore a nitsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini, or beep 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 beep, the car went beep beep beep, and the Snoopy songs, and all those songs that were like funny songs back in the day. We had that box set, you used to listen to that all the time, that was my brother's. But this is it, this is where it started for me, 1977. I purchased this and it's been you know 
ever since just grow to grow to grow um probably later that year i remember getting uh kiss albums for christmas my parents bought me i remember i specifically remember opening dress to kill and being so thrilled to have that um so yeah shortly thereafter i accumulated quite a few this one i remember seeing this one at the same time this used to be we used to go to montgomery wards probably don't know how many people remember a montgomery ward store but i remember going in there and they they had the displays kind of like kmart walmart no what kmart did like the big display with the albums all in it and i remember it was it was just all copies of this um but anyway i of course picked that up at a later point so this is the era for me that still sticks out these are like still my favorite costumes this is the favorite era this is still the favorite live stuff you see you hear um because to me this is the beginning this was the beginning for me yeah i mean i was a little late to the boat but you know um and of course the very first rock concert i went to also was kiss and it was for this tour so see now back in the days 11 12 13 years old 13 years old when i saw them in concert for this i wasn't a music critic it was kiss i loved all kiss this was not disco to me of course with the background of disco who knows maybe that's why i liked it so much i still don't look at this as you know i just it's a kiss album i didn't criticize the music hey this is this stinks when elder came out i loved it it was it was a kiss album it wasn't i wasn't a music critic nothing phased me i listened to the music because i love the band and i got to love the music i never criticized it oh i hate that album I, I guess I was too young. I was just like, oh, another Kiss album, and I got it, and I got to get it. And so I bought it, and, you know, it's Kiss. And so I bought it, and I listened to it. Now, of course, Love Gun was the first album I have. I haven't had it on vinyl in years, so it's nice to re-get you know, to re -get it now. Um, so, I, you know, I do have, I have the remastered CD. I had the original, probably sold it after I got the remaster. This is the one that came out, you know, a handful of years ago in the 90s yeah way too small to read um uh just basically this is when they remastered all the albums nothing major there and then of course a handful of years ago i got the love gun deluxe edition with the second disc that has uh you know all the demos and stuff now you know this is i was i listened to this actually this 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 morning before i made the video and it just it reminded me of the, the diversity so of course kiss was sex drugs and rock and roll they were one of the ones the parents hated they looked horrible they looked like satan kids in satan service all the rumors that go around um and you know and they have songs like christine 16 you know all about you know <laughs> teenage love and silliness and and uh love gun you know they had a lot of perversion in it but then you get to the end then she kissed me you know it's just it just showed the diversity of the kind of stuff they had on their albums and, and it, it just it, it, it's it's a lovely song um you know and and way out of place <laughs> for the rest of the debauchery that you find but it's a you know interesting to see how they had that side of them too where you know it wasn't all you know dirt and filth and debauchery it was you know good stuff so anyway that is the um latest that came in and memories that i have so maybe this is like more of a childhood memory thing um i have pictures i had the kiss makeup kit back in the day and i had pictures of me making up as kiss i was a big kiss fan i remember the next year going out and going to i'm want to say probably again montgomery wards um and i remember buying all four of the solo albums or my mother bought all four of the solo albums i remember them on display and i remember buying all of them um so yeah and then dynasty the following year and it just went on from there uh so anyway just wanted to share that little memory um big kiss fan glad to have this in now um i'm pretty sure i have most all the vinyl from the beginning up through around this time i do still need the both both live albums well actually all three i still need a live one two and three but as far as studio albums i have all the early stuff so it's like my childhood is complete and now I just have a long way to go with the, the middle road stuff. So anyway, thanks for watching. Rock on and I'll be back soon.